Hey YouTube fam, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to go over where the market went this week so far, midweek market update. Uh, don't forget, if you trade ES and NASDAQ futures, you're definitely going to hit that subscribe button. I personally trade ES and NASDAQ futures, and if you trade that, subscribe. But without further ado, let's dive into the charts because I was in a long going into CPI this morning, uh, long on NASDAQ. I'll actually pull that up real quick for you. So I was in this long here, uh, but it took about 100 points of profit. I just uh, was thinking we would sweep this high one more time before continuing lower, and I, I thought that we would sweep the high on ES before going lower. We did both of those. Um, if you want to take a look, I'll, I'll leave a link to the video on my cards at the top right. In that video, it shows my description of why I was looking for one more high before going lower and I was looking to get in short at those highs to come down into about the low 4,000 area on ES and the about 12,700, 12,600 area at some point by the end of April as TPs on the short side. Click, click that video, you can see that. But without further ado, let's dive into this. You know, I, I got about 100 points here. This was a great trade. I don't like the whole lot of size going into CPI. So CPI came out this morning, came out real low at 5%. We had the big spike, we swept the highs and the big dump. I, you know, I wish I got in the short at 13,200 on NASDAQ, but I did get my, my target, I, what we wanted. On ES, I said, we want, we want a sweep of these highs at 41.75, and then we're looking to trade lower and come down to about low 4,000 area some point uh, by the end of April. And I actually did get in at 41.72, and I caught an ad at 41.68. So my average is about 41.70 now. But look at this, this is beautiful. So let's go to the one hour chart, take a look here. Previous videos, I said, I would like one more popped sweep highs and I would like to see HYG make a lower high. So let's go to HYG. So basically ES, higher high. If we go to HYG from those two dates, lower high. So end of a Friday, March 31st, 75.61. Boom, we came up to 75.40 on HYG. Go to ES, March 31st, we came up and we made a high 41.72. And then now we swept the high, but we didn't make a higher high on HYG. I said, that would be my signal to short. I got in the short and I didn't put on my full size at that point because I thought that we could personally go possibly up into 41.90, 4,200 to sweep the ultimate highs back over here to the left at 42.10 and some highs at 41.90. So I left some in reserve, but then once we started trading down, I added more size in. So currently my average short is 41.70 and my stop is still going to be, it's, it's now going to be 42.40 as a stop. And let's go to the four hour chart. TP is these fair value gaps on the four hour chart. We covered this in a previous video. Uh, first TP is this low to the left. We are, in my opinion, we're gunning for this low to the left at 40.98. And uh, I'm not really going to be taking off any partials. Honestly, this is a trade I'm going to be holding because my true target is by the end of April. Uh, this is on my swing account, so I'm not going to be touching this. I'll be day trading my day, day, day trade account, but my swing account, I'm leaving this trade on. We're looking at a 2.3R. Um, currently, we're in the profit uh, about 55 points. And we're looking to take profit down here at uh, the low 4,000s potentially sweeping this low at 39.80 sometime by the end of April, but you know, low 4,000s is the target, 40.20 into uh, 40.06. I also caught another short on NASDAQ. Um, I saw that NASDAQ was weaker than ES, so once this happened, uh, I was already, I already had my position on ES, but I just saw NASDAQ was way weaker. So when we had this, this uh, pullback here, let me show you something real quick, actually. I, I drew a fib before I went to the gym, and then I opened up the app while I was at the gym on my phone, and this is what I saw. So I drew a fib on NASDAQ and I drew this fib on um, NQ. So I went to the gym at uh, 12.30, 1.30 p.m. And what I saw was, uh, and, and you know, I, I drew this retracement. So we made a low at 41.20 about 11 a.m. And when we made that low, I drew this fib. And let me just get rid of the profit so, for a second. So this fib from the high this morning after CPI, 41.78 down to 41.22. 50% retracement is a really good time to look for shorts if you think that the trend is going to continue to the downside. So we can pull back 50% before continuing in the direction we want to go. So I had this fib on my chart on, N on ES and on NQ. And I was personally thinking, oh, we made this bottom. I didn't think we'd make a higher high. I was waiting. So if we did make a higher high on ES, I would add even more to the short. But uh, I saw NASDAQ was so weak while I was at the gym. And then I saw that, okay, on ES, we pulled up to about the 618. And then I looked on NQ, and NQ was weaker, and we got to the 50%. So 
as soon as we rejected the 50%, I went at the gym and I got in a short at 1380. And then when I was finishing up at the gym, it was like three or four. Yeah, it was like three o'clock. And as soon as we swept the low, the current low we made at uh, 12,970, uh, we started retracing back up a bit and, and then I got out and it was a hundred points. So I ended up getting about like uh, the 79. So I took a hundred point short on NQ, granted smaller size, not huge size because I'm already in a uh, good size short on ES from 4172. And I took a long into CPI for 100 points. I'm very happy to, with today and I traded it very well. Took 100 points of NQ on the upside, took 100 points of NQ on the downside. I did get out of the NQ one because I'm just holding the ES one. And we're currently in about 54 points of profit on uh, ES and looking to uh, come down even more. Go back to the previous video of why I took this trade. But short story of why I took the trade was HYG, lower high, put in. And when we have these divergences where lower highs are put in, but ES makes a higher high, it's a high conviction short, high probability short at least. Second one is with DJT, same idea. We've been like making lower highs on DJT for a full month and on uh, ES and US 30. So if you just pull up US 30, for one month here, we've been making higher highs. So because of the higher highs and lower highs, it's a high, it's a high uh, conviction short for me personally. It's a high conviction setup. So I got in the short there. And um, when this happens, I back tested it. And, um, you know, we're looking at an average 4 to 5% sell off in the next month, less than one month. It usually takes less than one month. And it happens to be about 4 to 6%. I decided to go with the lowest amount of points and the lowest percentage pullback that's likely to happen. And it's about 4.3% and it's about 179 points. So this would point to 4,000. And that would point to coming us coming down to right here. And that would be about 170 points of profit on ES for my trade personally. The dollar, uh, I've been surprised. I thought the dollar would be rising, but that's one thing I've been surprised about. Uh, we did come down. We might target these lows, you know? We didn't really get to the 103. Once we get to 103, I'll be uh, more confident in a lot more downside potentially coming for stocks, but we're just going lower on, the, on DXY. That's it. I'm holding this short. Um, we could retrace up a bit into 4130, but yeah, we're really looking for these uh, sweeps of lows here at the 4100 as a target next. That's going to conclude this video. Thanks so much for watching. Let me know in the comments down below uh, how your trading has gone this, this week so far. I'm going to be post posting the next video coming out Sunday at 12 p.m. So be on the lookout for that. I really appreciate you watching. Thanks so much for watching. If you did like the video, uh, it, would, it would be awesome. I would appreciate it if you just give it a thumbs up. Uh, it just helps the channel. Thanks so much for your support, and I'll see you in the next video.